hi guys welcome back to my channel um this is obapa kitchen as usual and um, today i have a very beautiful wonderful recipe for you guys as you can see i have my cocoa yam here so guess what we are going to make ghana porridge cocoa yam porridge today okay so let's say um it's called um cocoa yam porridge i think we call it in ghana nuhu nuhu yes uh shanti i think we call it nuhu so this is what we are going to make today okay so right now as you can see my ingredients i have the cocoa yam right here uh, my seasoning i'm going to use our uh, garlic powder pinch of salt and i have a little bit of mokusam that is our uh, hot pepper powder i have one teaspoon of shrimp powder i have uh red onions this is about uh half medium red onion and i have my palm oil guys please with this recipe make sure you use um uh, zoomy okay they're that good better palm oil that tasty one okay and with my uh fish i have in sasawa that is uh in manema and also i have the catfish right here this is a smoke uh catfish and this is a dry fish called in manema you can get this fish from any african market near you okay so basically this is all the ingredients that i am going to use to make the cocoa yams uh porridge today okay guys so bear in mind with me and then stay tuned and let's get started first of all we are going to peel uh the mankin okay so if you have uh, like i said if you have a potato peeler you can use that to peel this but african as a Ghanaian, i always use knife you know to peel whatever so i'm just going to use the knife to peel all um the cocoa yam okay so i'm going to peel all of them So it's gonna help it cook faster. Okay, just cut it like that and be careful with the knife. This is the last one. This is how you want to cut it, okay? Okay, so that's it Let's... all right guys so as i show you area i have um already water on the stove so i'm just gonna put all boil all the coconut okay you want you want a very soft uh texture hope i say and not any good come that's what you need okay so right now this is good so i'm gonna add a salt just about a pinch of salt just to taste okay just for the taste about a pinch of salt and now we are going to cover it and let it cook all right so guys as you can see the cocoa yam is still boiling so it's doing very well we're gonna boil it and make it like really soft if i say i'm on a huna and then go home i am a memory pa so that's what we want Okay. This is what you need. For those who are wondering, I use about five cups of water, okay, to boil this plant. Um, sorry, to boil this cocoa yam. Okay, so this is looking very nice. As you can tell, it's nicely cooked. Alright, guys. So right now, I am going to start. Uh, flying my onion so first I just um, cook the oil so I'm just gonna fly the onions with it so we're just gonna let this fly you 
because uh, the imanema is a little hard so I'm just gonna go ahead and add them so that it will take the time to cook evenly with the onion okay so this is what you need so we're just gonna keep frying it until it's cooked let's see we're gonna let it fry for about uh, let's see five six minutes okay, I should be ready okay. and if you don't have the imanima guys you can just go ahead and use um uh, the mackerel okay uh, the one that is fresh you can just smoke it yourself I made a video about how to smoke your mackerel okay so you can just smoke it at home and use it instead of uh, the catfish and then the imanema you can use the smoke or uh, fish instead okay all right guys so it's about six minutes so far so I'm just gonna add the rest of my ingredients so I'm gonna add the emokosam, the garlic powder and a pinch of salt and also don't forget about your shrimp powder okay this is gonna give the uh, the porridge a very nice tasty um, you know flavor to the porridge that's why I add the the shrimp powder okay always add your shrimp powder at this moment we're gonna let it cook for about one minute and we're gonna dump all of it to the porridge so guys it's very very easy to make so easy so right now let's check the porridge the reason I'm using the cocoa yam is when you cook it it thickens and also make sure you taste your salt and see it's um, that's how you wanted it to taste or that's the right taste for you I think with the macro you can get it in any store so at this moment this is good it's smelling very nice so I'm just gonna add it to my porridge okay. so let's add all of it and then we are going to lower the heat okay. this is how you make Ghana mm -hmm. or the porridge people yam porridge okay guys it's so easy to make very easy so at this moment you just let it leave it and let it cook as low as possible so I'm gonna put it into two yeah lower my stove to two and let it cook okay guys so this porridge is done as you can see it's nicely cooked okay look at that so right now I'm just gonna serve it for you guys to see okay this is how you make your Ghana Nuhu and uh, typical Ghana Nuhu this recipe is from my grandma my grandma she loved it made her so rest in perfect peace so this is how you make Ghana Nuhu I hope you guys enjoy cooking with me for those who are new to my channel welcome to my channel this is Obapa kitchen I hope you're having a wonderful beautiful time on my channel so far and for those who have been with me for a long time I say thank you thank you thank you so much for all your love and support guys give this recipe a try it's so easy it's so simple it's tasty that it's so easy even your baby can make it okay give it a try and you're gonna love 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 it okay guys and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel I'm gonna post this uh, picture of this new home over there as well so enjoy and then give it a thumbs up when you hope on show we are thank you so much for your love i will see you all in my next video and have a blessed day bye guys enjoy again the new home puppy